So ARINC 665 is the, the specification, the ARINC specification that defines the structure and contents of loadable software parts and, and ARINC uh, media sets. So a media set is, uh, think of it um, logically as, say, a CD or a file directory that can contain one or more loadable software parts. So um, if, if it's a physical, actual, like, um, movable piece of media, like a CD or a, or a diskette, diskette um, the media set can span multiple transport media. Um, so there's provisions in ARINC 615A to specify that, hey, um, this is the first, this is disk one of seven, et cetera, of, of a media set. So as I said, within the media set, there can be one or more loadable software parts. And I guess the, the best way to think of, of what a loadable software part would be is if you think of, say, a Windows application, which might include uh, an executable or .exe file, and then maybe one or more uh, dynamic libraries, DLLs, that, that that application utilizes. So that whole application, to be able to run it or to use it, you would need the executable and then also all of its um, dependent uh, dynamic runtime libraries that it needs to run. So you would, you would logically package that into a, what would, in 615A terms, would be a loadable software part, or an LSP. So an LSP consists of a header file that has the extension .luh, and this, the contents and the format of this are defined by ARINC 665. And what this uh, header file uh, contains in it is the list of all the data files that are, um, that are, are on the loadable software part. And there's also optional support files that can be part of an LSP also. For each data and support file that's part of the LSP, the header file will contain the, um, the part number and the length and the CRC for, for that file. That header file also defines the part number for the LSP, so for the whole loadable software part as a package. And it also contains a list of target hardware IDs that that loadable software part is applicable to. So this is an identification that um, the data loader can use to say, hey, you're trying to load an LSP that's not meant for this specific avionics computer. It can also be used on the avionics computer side to say, hey, I'm trying to read this LSP, but it doesn't have my ID. It doesn't identify my target type as a target type that can use this loadable software part. Okay, so if you have a media set, as I said, that is a collection of one or more LSPs. And a media set would have a couple additional uh, overhead or ARINC 665 specified files which define the media set. One of those is the loads.lum file. And what this is is basically a list of all the LSPs or all the header files, LUHs, that are part of that media set. Um, and for each header file, it would also contain, in addition to the header file name, it would contain the part number for that loadable software package. Also, the media set contains a files.lum file. This is basically a directory. So every file that's on the media set, it contains the file name and the relative path to where that file is, the length of the file, and a CRC for that file. The files.lum also contains a CRC over the whole media set, which can be used to validate that the entire media set is valid and has not been corrupted. So um, if you're going to be developing a loadable target, you're also going to be obviously developing, compiling, building, and packaging the software that's going to go on to that target. So what I'm going to do next is show you uh, what we have here at AIT as part of our data loader uh, product suite. We also have um, a media set editor, which allows you to create and edit these ARINC 665 loadable media. So I'm showing that here. Uh, what you can do is you can open media set and look at them and inspect them and make modifications to it. So here I'm opening up um, an, an LSP by specifying the associated header file or LUH. And this is actually for uh, a Jefferson Charts package, what, what I'm showing as an example here. So when I open that up, you can see that that LSP has a header file, which is the one I selected. It also has embedded in it a part number. And we also indicate the version of the ARINC spec that that file is applicable to, that, that, it's, that it's built against. Uh, as I said, the, the LSPs and the header files contain a list of target hardware IDs that that, that um, loadable software part can be loaded to. So you can see this LSP contains an ID, two different IDs for a couple different target types. And then also there's a list of files associated with as part of that LSP. So it looks like for this LSP, what they actually do is take that list of files and combine it into a zip file. And then so that the actual 665 uh, LSP just contains one file, which is a zip file. Um, with this, we can add, it's an editor, so we can add new target hardware IDs to it. And also, if we'd like, we can add, uh, selecting the Add button, select other files on our local system 
um, and then use the save button to save those out and recalculate the loads.lum, the files.lum. Um, also, if we've added new target hardware IDs, we can save out and verify the LSP uh, of that um, loadable software part. So, key thing is uh, we can provide uh, a nice self-contained editor to um, to create, edit, and, and modify uh, media sets that which are you know needed. Um, the target software needs to be packaged into the media sets in order to be used by a standard data loader for loading operations.